Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the EconoMob plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to reward your players for killing mobs by giving them money. Now it's fully customizable, you can change the price for each mob, you can add multipliers for using different weapons, for killing different mobs and for being in different worlds and there's tons of cool features you can edit and it's a very easy plugin to use. So I've got some test subjects down here, so if I were to hit one of these cows, or in fact all of them, you can see there's an action bar that says I've earned $16 for that. Now there's a few different options for how to display how much money you get. You can have it in chat, you can have a hologram, or you can have the action bar down there. Now if I go after one of these pigs, we will see something else. Now that didn't give me any money. The reason for that is I set a 50% chance for a pig to give you money, and obviously if you're unlucky, you will not get anything from that. Now the main command is 4 slash econo mobs, and if we do that we can see all the commands. Now one thing we can do is reload the plugin, and what I've done is change the config file to display in chat now. So this is probably the best method you can use, I think it looks the cleanest and you have time to read what it says, but you can choose whichever one you want. Now there's another cool command called the econo mobs check and then my username and this will show you if you have got any multipliers on you for any particular reason so as you can see these are the three reasons you get multipliers and you can attach these to a particular group or individual using permissions but I haven't set that up so I just have a one times by default now the other thing you can do is simply toggle off the messages if you are killing loads of mobs and you find them annoying you can get rid of them so you aren't bothered by loads of chat spam so that's pretty much how it works in game. We're going to head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are on the SMP and control panel and as you can see there's a few files. So the language.yml, this is everything that's going to pop up in chat, you don't really need to edit that. If we go into the mobs.yml, in here we can see the price for every single mob. Now they all start around $10, you can see down here that for pig, in order to get that 50% chance, you want to add a space and then a percentage at the end. So killing a shulker, there's only a 25% chance now to get 10 bucks from that. And then I believe cow as well, I changed to 16 wherever that is. But the main place you want to go is the config.yml. So in here, up at the top, if you are using another plugin, it can hook into that, such as Wild Stacker or Stack Mob. And then do you want messages? So players can disable that if they want, or you could. And then the message type. So here are the three options depending on your Minecraft version. Um, most people are more than 1.12 now, so you could use both of these. And if you do want to choose hologram, there are some other options down here, such as you want it to float away, bounce, or just stay still. And then how long should it do that for? Here are the multipliers. So you can set a particular group, such as uh, example group, and the higher the weight here, the higher the priority, as it says. And you can list various mobs and change how much more they get and then same thing for weapons so you can put any particular weapon you wanted here such as a diamond axe and that might get a 1.3 for example and then there's another group called coal that has a weight too so slightly less you could give these to your different groups and allow players to rank up and get better multipliers and then if you have a creative world you could put it down here to ensure that no one is getting money from killing mobs in creative. Now there's also a wiki page which allows you to have a look at everything it requires. So obviously you need an economy plugin and vault with this, although you could use stack mobs as I mentioned. If we go into permissions, this is the permission you need to give to add a multiplier to a user or group. So economy mobs group dot example or dot coal. So here we are on the speaker page. You can see it's updated to 1.19. Here is the wiki and here is discord if you want to ask the developer any questions or have any problems. And you can see this is kind of what it looks like. If you do have a stacker plugin, you can get loads of money from killing a stack of six in this example, but you can download it for free over here. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.